Hey, what is up guys? Shitty Wags again. And in the last video, we were still fishing at Lone Star Lake in Texas. And I advised you not to go to Mudwater River or Emerald Lake. And my reasoning behind that, after Lone Star Lake, each location you visit, you're going to have to pay travel costs on top of the advanced license fee. So your goal here is to gain experience while still making profit. But Mudwater River for a new player is somewhat difficult in the beginning to figure out how to fish that location. I know the first time I went there, I paid the $2,500 and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. I wasn't catching any fish at all. I kept trying and trying different things. And before I knew it, the trip was over and I only had like five fish. So I'm going to share with you how to fish this river so you can actually make some money. Before you make the trip here, you want to buy small minnows. I would buy about 30 or 40 for a one day trip. Shiners work a lot better, but you don't unlock those till level 19. Okay, the first location you start at Mudwater is right here, and you want to set your depth to around 80 inches. I'm using a one knot hook, and again, I'm using shiners, but you can do this with small minnows as well. Now over to the left and across the river is some lily pads and there is a fish spawn in back of those lily pads. So just cast your line out there anywhere around those lily pads and wait for a bite. And from this spot, you can catch largemouth bass, black bullhead, bowfin, and channel cats. You can also use a casting rod here to catch the largemouth bass. And to do that, you're going to need to equip the one third ounce gold casting spoon with the number one hook. And you can buy that spoon from the shop at Mudwater River. Now, before we get into how to catch those bass, I do want to take a couple minutes and talk about casting. Because prior to this game, I had absolutely zero knowledge on fishing with spoons or lures. About the only fishing I did as a kid was digging up worms in the backyard, putting them on a hook, and then casting my Zebco out into the pond. So this was an entirely new learning experience for me. There are all types of lures in Fishing Planet, but from my experience, you cannot go wrong with the casting, narrow, and medium spoons. They are probably the most reliable lures, and you're going to get overall good results with them at any location. So if you're unsure what to buy, I would make an effort to collect each one of the different spoons. As for what color to use, there are primarily two things that are going to dictate that. The first being your lighting conditions. In bright sun, flashier spoons work best like silver, blue, red, or green. In low light conditions, like when it's overcast, lures with darker colors, which provide sharp contrast, are better. So here you're going to use like black and purple, or dark blue, or dark green. The next thing to take into consideration is the condition of the water. In clear water, you want to use silver, red, and blue. For mildly colored water, green, yellow, and gold are usually your best bet. And in stained and muddy water, you want to use gold or hot fluorescent colors. So here at Muddy River, it's sunny right now, but the water is, well, muddy. So I'm opting to use a gold spoon. When you're reeling in the spoon, different fish prefer to have the spoon presented to them in different manners. And this is called the action. And you will see what action you're presenting as you're reeling that in up here. And there are four different types of actions. Straight and slow, stop and go, lift and drop, and twitch. Straight and slow is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to cast out the spoon and then at the slowest speed continuously reel it in. Stop and go. You reel in the spoon for a second or two, then stop for a second, let it sit, and then begin reeling it in again and then stopping again, repeating this over and over. Lift to drop is where you're going to raise the spoon off the bottom and then let it sink back down. Easiest way to perform this is to hold down on your right mouse button, then click on the left while keeping the right held in. Let the spoon drop to the bottom, now reel in again with the left.
And the last maneuver is twitching. That's where you pull on the spoon, then reel in the line quickly and pull on the spoon again before it hits the bottom, continuously doing this over and over without letting it hit the bottom. The easiest way to perform this maneuver is after casting, hold in the right mouse button. Now quickly begin clicking the left mouse button over and over. The largemouth bass here at Muddy River prefer lift and drop, so cast out towards the willow trees, let the spoon hit the bottom, and then just begin lifting it up and letting it drop down over and over. This actually becomes pretty tiresome after a while, another reason I don't prefer fishing here. Okay, on to the next spot, Catfish Heaven. Really no trick here. Just cast your small minnows or shiners out to the right and let them float downstream. And the last spot is where you want to catch pike. As soon as you spawn in, you want to cast out across to the other side. And there are two spawns to the left of the rock right up against the reeds. For casting here, I use a three-quarter ounce three-aught spoon, and then I use a little mixture of stop and go and straight and slow. And that's about it for Mudwater River. Definitely not one of my favorite places to fish, considering the money and the experience is not that much greater than Lone Star, especially when you take into consideration those travel fees. Next up, I'm going to be going over Emerald Lake, and I'm going to show you how you can make a bunch of money at low level catching walleye. So keep an eye out for that. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I really would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one. Later.